that, that one I, I think is a hard pass. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the Food and Wine Festival here at Epcot. Finally got our shirt on there so we can celebrate together. We're gonna try new food today. I'm really looking forward to it. In addition, don't forget about the construction happening behind that wall. Progress being made every single day. You see new equipment popping up all around these walls as we walk by. It never gets old. I'm so glad it's back. The monorail here at Epcot. Ah, <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna ride it together with you in a very special video coming up. I've been thinking about what we're gonna do just to celebrate. I know it's been open for a little while, but I've just been, I wanna celebrate it in a very special way in a couple days here. It's gonna be great. I love it. The Food and Wine Festival is always pretty crowded here at Epcot, but today it's actually looking a little less crowded just because it was raining for most of the day. And now that it's dried up, some of those crowds have dried up as well. Today we're trying all new things. We're starting it off at Swanky Saucy Swine. The uh, crispy pig eared salad's on my mind as we walk in here. I've heard good things. I definitely want to try it. I think this, uh, this booth has a lot of potential. From Swanky Saucy Swine, here it is, the pig ear salad. It looks delicious. A lot of very interesting looking flavors in there. Cannot wait to bite into this one. You ready? Bon appetit. I had to take several bites. I did. I've taken four bites at this point to make sure that my initial analysis was right. I don't like it. I mean, it's, just, it's crunchy and it's a little slimy and I don't really care for it. <laughs> I, was, I was so hopeful for this salad. I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, this could be it. The item we've all been waiting, no, this isn't it. This, this is an item I would skip at the Food and Wine Festival, Piggy or Salad. We'll have to try something else from uh, Saucy Swanky Swine to try and find the best item there. It's, um, yeah, it's not that good. I don't really like it that much. We'll find something else. You know me, I love to, you know, finish all the amazing food around Disney. This, um, that, that's not the item. I don't recommend it. I, I don't. We'll try something else. We're gonna try something else right now to make up for that. That, that one, I, I think, is a hard pass. From Rotunda Bistro, you can hear American Garden Theater is sounding really good. Wild mushroom and truffle tart. We gotta try it. Here it is, the mushroom tart. It looks absolutely delicious. It's got truffles right there on top. I am so looking forward to biting into this one. You ready? Bon appetit. First couple bites, pretty good. Not bad. A little bit on the firm side for the tart itself and great mushroom flavor. The flavor of the mushroom is really, really good. The truffles on there are a little bit cold, but you know, I like it. I like it a lot. Overall thoughts, I do like it, especially if you like mushroom, you're definitely gonna wanna try this one. Does not beat my all-time favorite so far, which is a sriracha chicken sandwich from Donut Box, but this is one I would definitely recommend. Not go out of your way for, but would recommend. The mushroom tart, it was good. It was good. I, I would get it again, but I wouldn't go out of my way for it, that's for sure. Now, while we're here, I totally forgot. We haven't even gone through in the video to see the jazz collection all around the American Adventure Pavilion and inside the Rotunda. Let's check it out. Los Angeles Modern Jazz, where you can see some of our friends from Seoul, along with some real jazz players all around. Look at that from the uh, funk of the 70s and the hip hop and rap of the 90s. Wow, look at that. New Orleans, birthplace of jazz. I love the combination of more of the animated characters along with the uh, real life players like Louis Armstrong. Take a look, the first pop star. I love that, and I love some of his music, let me tell you. New Orleans, Woo. Check out The Soul of Jazz, an American adventure. Love that from our one of our new favorite movies, Soul, gotta love it. See the little cat right down there, that's super cute. From New Orleans, San Juan, New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles, and so many other places, including right over there, Orlando, of course, we all enjoy jazz. You can see some of the instruments from jazz. You got those drumsticks right there. You got the jelly roll sheet music right there. And look at this, it's very cool. You've got the uh, cornet horn here. That is fantastic. Now that is incredible. They've got Louis Armstrong's trumpet here. That is so, so cool. All right, now that is cool. That's one I'm very, very happy to see here. Wow, very special thanks to the Louis Armstrong Educational Foundation for this uh, amazing trumpet. We've also got Charlie Parker's saxophone. Check out that one out, very cool. You can see it's kind of this, the gold with the white saxophone. Very, very cool, I like that a lot. And there's this, I don't know what that is on the outside, probably just part of the stand. See this like plastic? Yeah, look, 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 maybe that's just part of the stand, but I gotta tell you, that is a very cool saxophone. After that very good mushroom tart, I'm gonna try the spicy Hakko sushi, that sounds, Delicious, from Japan. Sure enough, here it is, the spicy Hakko Sushi from Japan. Looks like a little bit of a smaller portion than usual, but could this be the most delicious sushi of all time, or of all time at the Food and Wine Festival? Only one way to find out, bon appetit. Sushi with a fork is always gonna feel 
Weird to me, I'm used to chopsticks. Here we go. Delicious spicy tuna with the volcano sauce on top. Really bringing this one together. Might be a smaller portion, but to be honest with you, I think this is the best sushi in the Japan pavilion at Epcot. This is delicious. This is one I would definitely recommend. Not too spicy, you're thinking spicy tuna. Not too, too spicy. Really, really good. Love the volcano sauce with it. Mm, so good. Yeah, I'd come out of my way for that one if you want sushi. See, now we're definitely trying better ones. We had that uh, that salad earlier, we're gonna skip that. All these other ones, yeah, I'd get that again in a heartbeat. Absolutely delicious, but after spicy tuna, we did a non-alcoholic drink. It's funny, the place that I think of when I think of non-alcoholic drinks now during the festival is Joffrey's. And they've got the tropical tea breeze here, right here. I'm so excited to give it a try. Here it is, the tropical tea breeze from Joffrey's right between where the Ireland kiosk is near the UK and between Canada as well. Right by the World Showplace entrance. Ready to try it together? Cheers. Not quite as sweet as the tart and tangy, but this one is super good. There's a coconut flavor in this one, which is the biggest difference between tart and tangy and this one. There's coconut. And you can definitely taste it as you're doing it through the straw, because I think some of the syrup's probably at the bottom. Definitely a delicious flavor. It tastes like iced tea lemonade and that coconut syrup. That's basically what it is. $6.39 for this. It's smaller than the tart and tangy, but really delicious, special for the Food and Wine Festival. Now, while we're sitting here together, relaxing, enjoying this fantastic drink. By the way, more I'm drinking it, more I'm liking it, tasting more of the coconut flavor. We're so good. Like, it's like our Arnold Palmer, a little sweeter, really, really good. Let's talk about the face mask policy. A lot of friends have brought it up. Michael, what do you think? What do you think? You know, it's it's a rule. It's a rule that Disney has put in place. They've probably talked to their entire legal team. There's a lot of discussions about this in our community, talking about how, oh, it's a good thing, or it's not fair that, you know, it, back and forth. I've heard, I've heard the conversations I have. But, and I'm not here to tell you which way, you know, how to think, no. That's never been my thought here. It's just about, enjoying the magic right and disney feels that it will be a more enjoyable experience you know with safety and all that when you wear masks indoors including indoor attractions the truth of the matter is i simply don't know i don't know what is best i'm just kind of going with you know disney's rules if disney says this is the rule that's what i'm gonna do that's it that's that's kind of where i kind of that's where I keep it. I don't know, that's me. I just enjoy the magic so much. I kinda get caught up in the magic. I don't even think about all the small little things that happen all around. Things happen, things happen, right? Changes have to be made. Disney's trying to do things that you know they believe is in the best interest of all guests. That's it, that's, that's the end of the story. I don't think there's more to it than that. So, you know, it's a change. It's something we actually got used to earlier. Now we got used to not masks, and then we're, yeah, we're, we're, back, to, we're back to that. So, yes, it's a change, but We'll make it through. We will. We always do. To me, Disney has always been just about enjoying the magic and forgetting the real world when you're here. And I ain't realized that when you have a mask on, it's it's hard to forget the, the real world. It is. It is. I won't deny it. It's just it, it, we, we try our best to just kind of enjoy those moments. And for me, there's something extra special about that, being able to kind of just, you know, we're here. We're having a great time together. I don't, I don't worry about all the smaller pieces. And to be honest with you, I, I just don't know enough. I just don't know enough about all the other pieces. I'm just trying to enjoy the magic. And I feel like when you're here, that's the thing to focus on. Disney, Universal, others, they're gonna make rules that they believe are in their best interest and in the guests' best interests. We just go and enjoy. That's the way to think about it. It has been raining all afternoon, but it's a perfect opportunity for us to grab the lens in my backpack, take some up close pictures while on living with the land. You ready? Let's go experience it.
great attraction, not just for rainy days, for any days, but especially when it's raining. Come inside, stay dry, enjoy the plants. I love it, and some great pictures. What'd you think? It's still pouring rain out there, so I think we're gonna head back in for a while. I sat back and relaxed here inside the Land Pavilion. It's still raining out there. It's still raining, goes to show. Never know about the weather here in Florida. It pays to be prepared. There are so many new things to try in the future. I'm looking forward to another Food and Wine Festival video. We've got lots of time to experience as many food items as possible. If you've got a suggestion for a food item we have got to try, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I'm also looking forward to all the food that we're going to experience starting October 1st when some of those new booths open. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.